Hello, Internet. This is Sam Messman from We Make Movies here. And just a quick uh, ethics statement here, which is that while I wasn't paid by Noise Industries to do this, I did receive a few plug-in packages uh, that they licensed to me for this. Um, however, uh, basically anything that I cover in here, I use on my personal projects and on my clients' projects, and I have absolutely no problem fully endorsing all of the plugins that I've included here. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is go to the Noise Industry website, which is noiseindustries.com slash fxfactory. Uh, what you want to do is click on the Download FX Factory button from the main page there, and it's going to download the software, and then uh, once it's done downloading, you're going to want to open it up. And as you can see, some are highlighted and some are grayed out. And if they're grayed out, it means that they're not currently installed and won't show up in Final Cut. When we go into the preferences, we'll go a little deeper into that. So you can see there's little uh, check mark boxes next to them. These are the ones that I have installed personally. And uh, these are the ones that I use and show up in Final Cut. And all you need to do to enable them is click the checkbox and they'll come into Final Cut. Also, when you go into rendering, um, you want to check your limit resolution size. I leave mine at 8K because I do a lot of red work and if I don't have it set there, it's hard for me to work with epic footage. But you can basically render any resolution. That setting's basically there to protect slower computers. So if you have a slower machine, you may want to set it a little bit lower. Um, Anyway, let's go ahead, enough of all this, let's get into Final Cut and go ahead and get started. So what I'll be showing you here is the particle metrics and volume metrics uh, plugin sets. And these allow you to quickly within Final Cut, or you can use them in motion, allow you to quickly stylize your video and titles with particles and glow effects. Um, the volumetrics focus mostly on titles and it, as you've seen in some of the intro animations to each of the different sections, uh, basically they give you a really fast and really customizable way to add production value to your titles. There's a lot of glows and light rays and ghosting and warping that goes into these and uh, pretty much you just take a sample title and slap one of these on there and suddenly it looks like it took you some time. And the same can be said with particle metrics except in this case it uses motion's particle systems to do fairly complex animations uh, over your footage and they're really customizable. There's a lot of different things you can do to these individual plugins above the standard uh, things. And what I tend to like to do is use these in tandem with each other. So I tend to put um, a volumetrics plugin on text, and then I'll put the particle metrics on the video footage. And as you can see in this example, it's going to make a really complicated uh, effect that I was able to do in about five minutes in Final Cut. And uh, for the most part, this is the kind of thing that makes clients happy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just going to step through what I did here. And basically, it's pretty simple. Uh, I just have two identical text layers that uh, have been duplicated, one on top of the other. In the top one, I just have the drop shadow filter. And in the bottom one, I have a volumetrics uh, electron flow plugin applied to it. And it's been set to only display the effect itself and not the title. And um, then I've gone ahead and keyframed it so that it only happens with the animation. And this is basically uh, isolated what that electron flow is going to basically be doing underneath the title on the top. And I only really modified a couple settings and a couple sliders and just had the animation start and stop where I wanted it to but you know once you get comfortable with these plugins and these settings it kind of becomes second nature making some more complicated effects and um, I'm gonna move down to the video side and as you can see all of these particles like his face is literally er erupting into a series of particles with that effect happening underneath and 
this took, I can't even tell you how little effort this took. And really all it involved was using an adjustment layer. And basically all that is, is a title in motion that I made that is basically an empty title with an alpha channel on it. And I use these with the particle metrics plugins because essentially it allows me to adjust the in and out of where I want the filter to start and I'm free to keyframe my other video tracks uh, within its place. If you look in the description, it'll give you a link to a little more in-depth uh, idea of how these work. But basically all I do is I applied the 21st century block uh, particle metrics plug into this pretty much in its standard configuration and it basically just makes this effect it places it over the video and I have my titles animate right over it and in about five minutes I had something that really jazzed up the end of this industrial video that I was doing and it made the client really happy and I didn't even have to leave Final Cut and if you watch this and it all went totally over your head or you just don't feel like doing it well, this is what I do for a living, so feel free to hire me either to consult on your movie or to finish your film for you if that's what you need. So, if you want to get in touch, just drop me an email over at sam at wemakemovies.org. And lastly, if you're wondering what this whole We Make Movies thing is, check us out over at wemakemovies.org. Or if you live in L.A. or Toronto, sign up for our newsletter and then come to one of our events. I'll see you guys next time. And cut!